Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 61.1 kilograms and trains under Jamie Huku out of RSMMA with an undefeated amateur record of one win for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Harrison And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 60.6 kilograms and trains under John Wayne Parr and Daniel Almeida out of Boon Chu Gym. Making his amateur debut tonight inside the Eternal Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dylan Marker! Thomas Churchill signals us underway. They touch him up and here we go to near Nathan Cage side with Carl Noak. Beautiful tie boxing skills on display early from Dylan. Also know that Dylan took this fight on a week's notice as well, T. Well, taking a fight on seven days' notice tends to work out in favour for those who do so, none more so than John Martin Fraser. Last night victorious over Matt Miles and what Matt Myers rather and what was a gruelling three round catch weight belt. This fight, matchup rather, proudly brought to you by Nets. Yeah, Harrison doing a good job on top right now. He's got uh, Dylan stuck against the cage and he's put his arm behind his back now. Dylan can't defend that side, so that leaves that uh, left side of Dylan's open to pass if he can pry them legs apart. Well, he's deciding to strike from this position, Carl. <laughs> Not looking for a pass as it stands. That's probably the best guard opener in MMA is to throw some ground and pound. <laughs> yeah, indeed it is. <laughs> Dylan's struggling to get that arm unstuck from underneath his back right now. Harrison throwing a lot of punches and not a lot of them are landing. And there we go, there's those guard opening now. He still has to be careful here. Can't pass with reckless abandonment. It's been a weekend of reckless abandonment, Carl. We <laughs> saw it last night with Jimmy O'Brien and Nam Steven. Fight of the night contender, no doubt, last night at Eternal 69. We'll see more of that here at Eternal 70. Monkal. And there's that arm free now, T. Let's see what he can do with it. It's been all Harrison 2 early on in round 1. Harrison's going to... Uh, sorry, Harrison's going to look to posture up here a little bit. Still trying to pass that guard. If he wants to land some ground and pounding, he's going to have to posture up a little bit here. He can't keep his head down in that position. He can land strikes, but they're not going to be very damaging. And he has to be careful here. As Dylan looks for an armbar, and that's the danger of posturing up. Absolutely. <laughs> Harrison got his seatbelt wrapped all the way around the, the waist of Dylan there. It stops Dylan from getting his hips out and, and cutting angles for those arm bars. Just under 20 seconds left in round one. Watch your head. And it has been all a Harrison two in control. Dylan had his moments early on in round number one, landing a few leg kicks, but uh, he hasn't seen anything but the canvas since he got taken down by Harrison. Wagering partner of the UFC and Eternal MMA as always. Please gamble responsibly. Round two is underway. And Dylan wasting no time again in the start of this fight. That's the second round, sorry. Well, his coaches may have had a word to him between rounds, but he goes down again. Beautiful level change from Harrison to straight into side control. Yeah, and that was the danger of letting those hands go. He needed to sit back a little bit more, be a little bit more patient with his shots. Harrison doing a really good job in side control right now. Dylan's trying to come out that back door, but it makes it hard because Harrison has hold of his neck. Harrison really just smothering Daniel right now. Not letting him move too much. He has a Kimura on here, T. He's got to watch that right arm. And freeze it. And 
Dylan's trying to bridge up, but he's eating some big shots there. Great position for Harrison. Pick him, pick him, pick him. As he continues to work. And he's just out muscling Dylan, isn't he, Kyle? It's almost like a... Toes out of the cage. Like, like he's big brothering him, isn't he? He is, you know, and he's doing a great job. He's smothering him. He's, as soon as he gets a chance, he's punching. He's getting a chance. He's submitting. He's trying to go for submissions as well. He's doing everything right. As he climbs up on the back now and gets one hook in. This is not a really good position for Dylan to be in here. Harrison's in a great position to finish this fight from here. Well, he's got one hook in. He's stuffed him up against the cage. Dylan, he's protecting himself, but is it intelligent defense? Thomas Churchill leaving the fight go on. He's got to move. Does Dylan. Wow. Here we go. Has it up tight here, I think, T. I think this is on. He's under the neck. Dylan will reach up and peel that hand off. Dylan is fighting for all he's got. He continues to fight that left arm. Dylan Munkow. Still well and truly, and he comes back with some strokes off his own. There you go. Harrison has it right around the chin there. He can still submit him from here. This is a tight submission still. Locked up straight around the jaw, but Dylan resorting to strikes as his preferred mode of defense, <laughs> and it seems to have, it seems to have worked. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan doing a great job of defending that rear naked choke. It's hard for him to spin out of here because Harrison has the body triangle wrapped around him. But Harrison doing a great job of hand control right now. Oh. Yet to be seen here at Eternal 70, round three underway. Dylan has a very Thai boxing style, doesn't he? He does indeed, no doubt where that comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to be careful of those kicks. Oh, beautiful knee lands up the middle. He is very aggressive here in round number three. This is better from Dylan. He's got to keep this fight standing. And he's getting some big reactions from those feints, but it doesn't work in his favor as he goes down again. And you'd have to think, Cole, he's got to get back to his feet if he wants to make an impression here in this last round. Yeah, he does. He can't spend any more time on his back in this fight. If he wants to win this fight, he has to scramble like crazy to get back to his feet and draw Harrison back into a striking match with him. Harrison just winning the grappling exchanges every time. But Dylan's able to go back to full guard here. Harrison's quite happy just to kind of walk him into the cage now and trap his head against the cage and look to do some more ground and pound like we've seen in the first two rounds. And he's got an open guard, does Dylan. Harry choosing not to pass just yet. And like we said, he's almost just, he's, he's too big, too strong at this stage. <laughs> yeah, and that may be that short notice fight for Dylan as well. Just He's just ready to come in and throw down, no game plan. And I think we're seeing a little bit of that now where he wasn't quite ready for the takedowns of Harrison. Harrison's doing a great job now of just smothering Dylan, making it very uncomfortable for Dylan to be under there right now. He's got his head against the cage. It's not a great position. That cage hurts your head too. Every time you scrub your head along it, it hurts. Yeah, you're just stuffed up. In a tough position. You've got the head pressure of Harrison too, and you've got your head up against the cage. <laughs> Between a rock and a hard place. Harrison too. Proving to be a hard task for Dylan Moncol thus far. Dylan's staying active though. He's hunting for submissions. He's trying to win this fight. He hasn't given up yet. Harrison just keeping that relentless pressure on him again though. Not doing a lot from top, but just really smothering him. Well, he passes there. If he can sneak into side control, he may choose to stay into half guard, Carl. He's got that left arm trap, and he is landing shots at will. Dylan using the cage to look to advance his position. He's got to survive 10 seconds. Well, he might have an armbar He's got team. an armbar. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Harrison, he just slips it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
Our judges score this contest 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26 for your winner via unanimous decision in the blue corner.